Good morning, or afternoon, or evening. Um, we made it to Friday, y'all. We did it. Um, so today is a pretty short and sweet video, and you'll understand why here in a little bit. First, our good morning prompt. Good morning. This feeling will pass. This workload will pass. These people will pass. But look at you, with a gift of memory. You can time travel to the good stuff just by closing your eyes and breathing. Then come right back to now, eyes up for the good stuff ahead, you magic thing. Like today's. I'll show you the picture when we get to the good night one. Since I don't have one for the morning one. Okay. Okay, so today is March 27th. National Joe Day, uh, and I looked this up because Joe could be a lot of things. Like I thought maybe it could be coffee, like a cup of Joe, but apparently they mean like the name. So to all three of my Josephs in second period, it's the day just for you. I don't think I have any students named Josephine or anything this year, so pretty much just Josephs. Yeah, anyway, I wonder if there's one for each like common name. Uh, it's also National Scribble Day, which is good for people like me who can only scribble. National Spanish Paella Day. I was pretty excited about this. I don't know if any of you have ever had paella. It's pretty awesome. I found this cool picture of this shrimp and chorizo paella. Oh, I really want to eat it. Um, it's also Quirky Country Music Song Titles Day, which I thought of um, when Junior suddenly asked, texted me asking me if I really missed him after that survey. And I thought of this quirky country music title, it's a real song, called How Can I Miss You If You Won't Go Away. It's also World Theater Day, just for Addison. Okay, um, so today, like I said, this video is going to be pretty short. Um, the first thing is that I've extended the deadline for yesterday's assignment because a lot of people were having issues with like Google Classroom, not being able to connect, um, the website, having issues with it, and I just wanted to give everyone a little bit of extra time because you do need to play, there's two games and then like a five question, like I guess exit slip type thing at the end. There's a pizza making game and then there's this sort of pinball kind of game. Um, but you have to play through all three of them. You, you're not just playing one game, you have to do all of it. So um, that's why I wanted to extend that. So you had yesterday, so hopefully you started on it yesterday, and then today you can finish that up. Um, apparently you don't have to enter in a class code. They told me to tell y'all the class code, but I think if you just go from the link in the assignment, it automatically already put it in the URL. So as long as you sign in with your Google account, then I know who you are, I can look up your scores, and I'll put that in as a grade. Okay, so please make sure you do that. Um, it's due by midnight. Okay. Um, there's going to be a weekly reflection assignment that I'll put up. Um, it'll just be a Google form really similar to that first assignment check-in that we had on Monday. Um, I'm not adding any extra math work, so make sure you do your, ref your reflection um, and make sure that you finish off the assignment from yesterday. Okay. Uh, most of you did not do the check-in yesterday, as in nobody from fourth or seventh period did it. Like, not a single person. The only people that did it at all were like eight people from second period, which is pretty sad. It's a lot of people I'm about to count absent and give zeros to. Um, all you have to do is comment on a post with a holiday idea, so... Don't know why a lot of you didn't do that. I think a lot of you just aren't reading what I'm putting on the page. Um, I'm just gonna keep giving zeros because you can't say that I didn't tell you what to do. All right, well, we made it through the first week of online classes. Today is Friday, so we finally have a weekend ahead, which for a lot of us doesn't mean that we're doing anything very differently from what we've been doing all week, but at least you don't have any more work to do. Um, a lot of you, most of you have been doing pretty well. Um, some of you turning in stuff a little bit late, but most people are at least getting something turned in. So please keep it up next week. I know this whole situation is kind of crazy and the world is bleak right now, but I think that having something to do at all helps. 
it's better than just sitting on the couch and staring at the wall all day. So please keep it up because um, God knows if the district decides to give us a test, you guys want to be prepared for that test. So don't waste this time that you have. Okay? You are all awesome and I miss you all so much. And it'd be really cool if we could get back to Grinder before the end of the year. But if not, we're going to make it. We're going to keep going. Good night, or morning, or afternoon, or evening, or whatnot. Here's our good night thought. Good night. This moment will pass. This fatigue will pass. Tonight will pass. But look at you with the gift of imagination. You can teleport to where you're happiest just by closing your eyes and breathing. Then come right back to now. Check in with the present, you magic thing. Understand what this picture has to do with any of those words. I guess it's kind of cute. Um, imagine that that little hand is my hand, because especially those of you in fourth period know how tiny my little my hands are. So this is not me. This is me. All right. Well, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Um, please make sure that well as awesome as you can in this situation. Um, please make sure you get the assignments from yesterday and the reflection done today. Right?